Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a little while since I did an update on the X-Pro Bolt, um, the 110 four-wheeler. Um, as you know, in the last couple of videos, um, I had some issues with this thing uh, starting up and, you know, after it sat for a while and uh, it just wouldn't start. Couldn't figure out what the problem was. I had a pretty good idea what the problem was. Um, so I ended up emailing the company and I explained to them what my situation was and they had a hard time understanding what I was talking about and I just cut to the point and said, listen, you need to send me a new carburetor because the old carburetor that I had, um, it, I can't take it apart. You couldn't take the, the carburetor apart. And, uh, and I knew that was what my problem was. The, the, the bike just wouldn't take fuel. I couldn't give it gas. Uh, you know, it idled and then as soon as I gave it gas, it shut off almost like there was something wrong in that carburetor. And I couldn't tear it apart to even see what was going on inside. Um, so I'll give you a close up of the old carburetor. Um, I already got the new one on it. Uh, I'll explain uh, when I show you the old one, what the difference was. Um, and yeah, so. I'll show you the uh, the old carburetor. Okay, so this is the old carburetor. This is the carburetor that came on the bike uh, when I got it. I don't know what that number it looks like. ZPZ20. I don't know if that's the carburetor number. Um, there was this right here on there, stamped on that also. Um, but this is the look of the old carburetor. And uh, as you can see, they got rivets in here. Now, they're, they're screwed in. It's got threads on one side, but this side here is a rivet. I mean, there might be a tool that you can buy to take those off, but I don't have it. Um, and same with this side. Threads on one side and a rivet looking thing on the other. Um, so I, I couldn't get into this carburetor at all to see if it was dirty or to just see, you know, what exactly was going on in it. Um, but I mean, that was basically the only difference was this carburetor, um, had these rivets in it where I couldn't get into it. Um, the, the, the new one that they sent me, it looks relatively the same, but, uh, I'll try to get you up underneath there. Like I said, I already have it on the bike. So uh, I'll show you and show you the difference, uh, what they look like. Like I said, they're pretty much the same, but I could just tell that other one was built better in some way. Um, so let me try to get you up underneath there and, and show you what the new one looks like. Okay, like I said, you really can't see a difference now. There is a stamp here on the side of it. Um, numbers I can't get that to focus real well there is some numbers down on there uh, I kind of wish I'd have went over this uh, before I stuck it on the bike um, but you, know, you can see let's see if I can get right here that's a Phillips head screwdriver uh, screw I'm sorry I can use a, a Phillips head screwdriver to take that bowl apart um, see it's just it's just like a normal carburetor the old one was uh, was not a normal carburetor. I couldn't do anything with it. It was uh, pretty much a so one solid piece. So yeah, that's just what the difference is in the carburetor. I know that it doesn't look like much, but I, like I said, I wish I had it off the bike to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but as you can see, this new one, you can take the carburetor apart. Yeah, so if there's any issues inside of it where I need to clean some jets out or the, the floats are sticking or something like that, um, I could get in there and I can work on it. My, that old one, I just couldn't. Um, as far as the company sending the carburetor out, um, I had called them um, probably maybe a month before they ended up sending the carburetor and they said that they were gonna send me a new carburetor and I do have an axle issue with it. Um, it has got a slight bend to it. That was not quite a concern to me as much as the carburetor itself because the bike wouldn't run. I couldn't get my daughter to be able to even ride this thing. Um, it still does have a bent axle. Now I was promised that they were gonna send me an axle and a carburetor out. 
the first time and I didn't get neither or I didn't get neither uh, the carburetor or the axle so I did end up sending them an email um, a big long email explaining to them I had just bought this bike it is brand new and I can't get it to run um, so I explained my issue uh, and they did have the carburetor sent out um, within I think I might have got it within five days so that was pretty nice the second email worked um, but yeah again uh, this bike hasn't ran for probably over a month just haven't we my daughter hasn't been out to ride it or anything been kind of busy with other things um, so I'm gonna show you what it's like now starting up on a cold start um, and not and it hasn't ran for a month and the gas was left on also I did read some comments where people was like you need to shut the gas off overnight um, this carburetor I haven't shut it off and I haven't had any issues um, so I'll give you the cold start up and uh, I'll show you what it, uh, how it starts now okay cold start up um, key on switch is on now I will choke it I'll pull the choke out gas was left on for the entire time Let's see what it how it starts up